So a new client the other day said that they wanted to work with me on weight loss. And I said, fantastic, I'm all for it. I think this is a great idea and I would love to be helping you with your weight loss. And then all of a sudden, when he contacted me for the session, he said, I have a huge apology to make. I said, what's that? He goes, I, I don't have to lose weight. I need to find a way to be happier. But I'm really embarrassed to say that because I'm 60 years old and I've run all kinds of businesses. I've done startups. I've been, went bankrupt several times. I went foreclosure several times. Several times I made more money than I ever thought I would ever make. But one of the things that I've struggled with my whole life is being happy. And I didn't want to be judged by you. I didn't want you knowing who I was. You knew because of the fact that I had said in my intro letter who I am, what my background is and everything else. You knew that I had been very, very, very successful. And I'm sitting here thinking, I can't tell this guy, David Essel, that I'm not happy. You're tuned in to David Essel Live, America's Positive and the World's Radio Show, here to help you with small tips, big tips, anything we can do to help you achieve your goals. And this one is a big one right now. My God, and the very first thing I said to him is I, I said, thank you, sir, so much for being vulnerable. Three quarters of the world's population is unhappy right now. It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to say you're not happy. Listen, I go through periods of unhappiness. I'm challenged on a weekly basis. Many, many weeks, there's two or three days that I'm really struggling, stressed, unhappy, etc. And then we find tools to get ourselves out of it, right? I said, you're in the greatest place in the world. You're right here. You're going to get help. You're going to do things differently. So let's start talking about it. The very first thing I asked him to do is write down, what does happiness mean to him? And the answer was freedom to do what he wants. Of course, that's great, right? He said, I still have to work. But he said, you know, eventually I want that freedom. I said, well, what about happiness right now? Let's not worry about the future. Let's not worry about when you retire. Let's not worry about when you divorce. Let's not, what about right now? And he sat there looking at me and he said, I'm so embarrassed. I don't have a clue. I said, what have you done in the past? Hobbies, et cetera. He said, I've worked. And I raised a family. And I raised a second family. And I worked again. I said, hobbies? He said, oh, in, in, in high school, I had hobbies. But he said, since then, it's been nose to the grindstone. You know, and a lot of us are like that. But a lot of us are just the opposite, too. A lot of us aren't happy because we have no drive. We have no desire to live a bigger life, a better life, a happier life, a more peaceful life. You know, so let me give you some ideas on how you can start to become happier right now. The first thing I'm going to tell you is a musical instrument. Music is amazing, right? It's a phenomenal hobby to pick up. You know, pick one that you like, some, something that you're attracted to, not something that your wife, husband, next door neighbor, brother, sister, mother, father tells you you should do. But what instrument have you always wanted to play? You know, I was watching uh, Sunday Night Football or Monday Night Football. I forget, and I forget the woman. She's a very very famous singer <laughs> who does the intro to the show. And at the very end of it, she does this drum roll. I mean, it looks like she's a phenomenal drummer. <laughs> I couldn't believe it because all I knew she did was sing. That could be a hobby. Drumming, guitar. I mean, any musical interest, for gosh sake, can be a hobby. Okay, number one, a hobby. Number two, meetup groups. In other words, when we're not happy, we need to get involved with other people. The more we isolate, the more we spend alone, the more time we spend alone, that more the unhappiness is going to be there. And I'll tell you something, and this the guy admitted this happened to him. A lot of times we don't even realize we're unhappy until we hit bottom, until something terrible happens. Maybe Maybe we lose a lot of weight or gain a lot of weight. Or maybe we look in the mirror and we go, oh my God, you know, I look about 30 or 40 years older. And you do look about 30 or 40 years older because you're not getting enough sleep and you have nothing other than work and family, you know? So I understand that. Meet up groups, you can meet new people. Um, a pet, and, and this is gonna sound crazy, cats and dogs, of course, are normal. But did you know a goldfish, and I've read studies on goldfish, a goldfish can be an incredible stress reducer. And it gives you something to take care of, right? And makes you feed it, change its water. Uh, although I do recommend, this is important, I recommend all people with goldfish bowls get an air filter in it, a water and air filter in it for circulation. I had a chance to interview a guy who's an expert in goldfish. He has multiple goldfish in his home for 40 years, 40 years. And I said to him, how does a goldfish live 40 years? He said, they should live 40 years. And I was blown away.
He said if you change the water regularly and you have one of those little pumps in there, whether it's a bowl or a tank, he said, and you feed them according to the experts, they'll last forever. So maybe a pet would be a big one, right? I, I, I want you to get out of your head. You know, maybe going to a different spiritual service or church service will bring some happiness in, you know, but, but let me make this final point. Happiness is an internal job, but we don't want to isolate while we're trying to get happy. In other words, if you say, I'm going to stay in my bubble and just read positive stuff and just think positive stuff and it'll last for a while. But humans need interaction. We need to look in other, each other's eyes. We need to laugh, right? We need to talk about being happy. Watch funny movies. You remember the, the story of Norman Cousins? He was sentenced to death. They said that he would never, ever make it past six months. And he ended up going on this extremely high 10,000 milligrams a day of vitamin C. And all he watched was funny movies. And he fully recovered. So take all these tips, watch this video again, write them down, right? Like write them, get serious, okay? And then apply them. And let's get happier together. Can you imagine if we had half of the world watching this video saying, I'm going to go out and get a goldfish. I'm going to start an instrument. I'm going to listen to my favorite music more every day. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to join a meetup group. If we had half the world's population doing that starting tomorrow, the world would change in 24 hours. If I can help you at all, because a lot of times this sounds a lot simpler than it is. We have a 50% reduction in my one-on-one -on -one 30 minute sessions right now. We can do a lot in 30 minutes. So join me at Talk David. You can sign up right there under counseling and executive coaching. The special, the 50% off will go on until inflation goes away. Let's hope it goes away quick. But until it does, you can save 50% working with me from anywhere in the world. Also, four free books at talkdavid.com. You've been tuned in to the most positive podcast in the universe, David Essel Live, right here on buzzsprout.com. Go to buzzsprout.com, Google David Essel. Not only will you find all of our recent podcasts, but you'll find videos, all or audios, I should say, of interviews when I was with Sirius XM for a number of years. They're absolutely fun to listen to, okay? So I'm David Essel. The website is talkdavid.com. I can't wait to see you again. Have a beautiful day.